Hi there. So, as you may know, we bought a wood chipper uh, a few days ago at the beginning of this week, and since uh, since that day we have been using it pretty much every day. So, I would like to do a quick review on it. So, the wood chipper is a Garland chipper 355. 2800 uh, watts it's basically plugged into electricity and uh, it accepts branches up to 4.5 centimeters in diameter uh, it comes up with this basket that holds I think 50 or 60 liters so we bought the wood chipper with the, inten with the intention to chip uh, rests of or branches from orange trees that we cut down, the roots and some other branches that we had in the garden. Uh, uh, so the reason why we wanted the wood chipper is because we didn't want to just throw away all this, all this stuff. We didn't want to for it to just go to waste. So if we can chip it and then give it a, another purpose it feels less bad that we have cut down all those orange trees. We are giving it a second purpose, let's say. So we wanted to use all that, that wood for something else. And because we also need a lot of mulch for our garden, and it's not that easy to get wood chips around here, so that was a two-in-one. Of course, this is uh, an expensive uh, tool. So if you only look at it from a financial perspective, it may not make a lot of sense to buy one because it's cheaper just to buy the wood chips if you if you know where to get them probably uh, but from the other end as i said we didn't want for all those branches and all that stuff to just go to waste we would have to carry it to the waste center uh, so like this everything stays in the garden we cut it and it goes and it serves as a mulch and it will compost and improve our soil so about this little machine I think it, it's fair to say and after we have done quite a bit of work on it that it as you can see because it's very dirty we have just been using it uh, so it's fair to say that it has exceeded our expectations I don't think it got stuck once it eats it goes chips the wood really really easily uh, even branches that are pushing it to the to its limits about four centimeters 4.5 as it accepts so it just goes through the wood uh, very well circuit breaker on off and then it has two modes uh, one to like it is now down where it just it's uh, chipping wood and another one that it should be used only if a branch gets stuck so it turns uh, in reverse to help you uh, getting that branch out then it has this basket underneath, which has a lock, lock, locking position, uh, so the the machine won't work unless if it's in the if it's locked. And uh, yeah, the wood chip just go in the in this basket, which I think is about 50 or 60 liters. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, so the positives that we have, or the what it surprised us is that not only it goes through the wood very very easily uh, it hasn't got stuck once as I said uh, and it is also relatively silent at least a lot more silent than we were expecting we have heard reviews of people that has uh, lots of problems with noise well this is obviously it does make some noise but it's it's not too bad at all feels really really well built one of the things that we have noticed is when you are putting branches there will be a lot of pressure on these plastics here because the machine is pulling them down and it just feels very well built which is good otherwise I would feel like these plastics would just break anytime overall it just feels really well built the negatives if we have any is that it, eat, it chips the wood really easily if the branches are straight and long then it's just very easy and quick to go through them if the branches are like most of the orange trees the small ones that we are doing where the branches aren't straight they have curves and all kinds of shapes 
then it is more complicated because you need to cut them all down to fit in here because if it has a shape then obviously it's going to get stuck on this side so maybe if this would have a slightly larger entrance uh, then it would make it easier for those which I understand why they don't do it because then people would push it over its limit and put big bigger branches uh, so another negative that we can think about is the fact that the blades are quite a bit further down compared to the entrance of the wood which means that unless if it is I don't know but at least 20 or 30 centimeters long you can't really uh, make it reach the blades and start chipping so maybe if this would be slightly shorter it would be easier to to chip branches that aren't that long what, what we are doing when we have some smaller branches is we just put them together with longer ones so they all kind of get together, stuck together and it just uh, takes them through so now I'm going to show you how it works I'll, I'll turn it on uh, I'll not talk because of probably you wouldn't be able to hear me and uh, I'll, I'll show you how it works so I'll start with these and this is what I was saying that the long and uh, long branches are the, the best it just goes through really easy I will uh, really easily so I'm just gonna start with this one This is what I was saying when I said that the curvy dot straight branches are quite a big problem. Like this is an example. If you have a branch like this, it's going to be really hard to get it through. It just you'll have to break it in small pieces and try to take all the curves, and even then it can be a bit of a struggle. Yeah can see so and these ones are just very difficult to put them through. The same like these you'll have to break and to fit in. Plus uh, if we have something like this it's just so much easier. It just goes in for the garland we are really really happy with it. I'll show you what we have done already. So this is what we have done already. It may not feel like a lot, but believe me, it is pretty much about uh, 10 orange trees, 10 medium sized orange trees. So it is quite a bit. It just, uh, it just shrinks when you put it through the chipper. Uh, the spec says that it will shrink to about uh, 16 to one and uh, yeah that's probably about right uh, we have started another pile in here this is just from this is just one load from the roots only you can see that there is no leaves or smaller branches so it's just just wood and if you come around here so all that corner it was full it had orange tree branches all the way up to the to the top of the fence uh, so yeah that's pretty much what that has turned into this little pile. There is also the advantage that uh, we we still have a few uh, trees in our backyard uh, and we are planning to plant quite a few so we will have lots of trees and it's not that we are just buying these to get rid of all that waste and then we will not have any use for it this is the bulk of the work of course because we will never have 10 or 11 trees to cut down but we will be using it regularly as we prune and 
cut down and uh, take care of the trees that we want to have and if we want to have a food forest we will have uh, quite a few trees to take care of and we will not be short of uh, branches and waste wood waste just to give some use to this little machine.